All right. For opens ready and Peaks is ready. All right, let's go, guys. On a countdown on zero from three. On go from three. All right, here we go. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. All right. Three, two, one, go. All right, let's see who's gonna start first. And that is Teeks. All right, here we go. We got a weird delay here. Hold on a sec. Let me get a little refresh going here. Oh, it's for open. For open's got a weird delay. Teeks does not though. All right, all right, starting off in World 1. Neither runner making the World 1 mistake. That's good. You do not want to see World 1 mistake early on, man. There's nothing worse than that World 1 mistake. Looks like both runners are doing pretty good here. 1-1, one, 1-2. One, one, the thing we must be looking out for the most is 1-5. One, 1-5 five. One, five is going to be the first level that these runners can get their point in. It's going to be the MFP tunnel. A trick requiring you to do a duck jump down a tight little tunnel. Um, and you have to execute a perfect little turn back just to make it under. Oh, and for open going for orb jump. Ah, damn, very nice on for open side, but he is still behind. Mm, they're probably pretty tied. All right, who's gonna get the tunnel here? Nice, he's taking the damage. For open also taking the damage. Pretty standard. Ooh, Teeks losing his P speed. Gets a nice jump though. Oh, Teeks doesn't get it. Oh, and Feropen does get it. That is that is a big, big deal here in the finals. The MFP tunnel is a big deal in the finals. First point given, but RNG, you never know, right? You don't know exactly how it's gonna go down. Both runners, it's still super early in the game. Super early in the game. Nice, both runners are able to get the P speed. 207, they are tied neck and neck right here. They are tied. All right, moving to two, going to the mushroom house. For open, gonna have to do the fire flower first. Oh, team one chest, team first chest. For open, not gonna get the fire flower. Probably has something to do with the way the boss pattern works. Oh man, this is looking intense right here. Feropen getting the leaf as well in here. And Teeks getting the throne jump and Feropen not getting the throne jump. Wow, this is already, this is already pretty intense right here. Wow, for open already with a two point lead so far uh, over Teeks. So that's, um, this is gonna be pretty tough for Teeks. Teeks really needs to get those throne jumps. If he gets all the throne jumps, we don't gotta worry about anything. There's nothing he's gotta worry about. Nice, both getting the Fire Flower on the airship. Yeah, it was awkward. For open, actually chose not to get the Fire Flower from the, the Hammer Brother. I'm assuming that's because uh, the boss pattern, it just works out in his favor. He's more comfortable with this. Teeks is going to grab the wand at 346, and For open's going to grab it at 347. So Teeks is ahead by one second right here, guys. One solid second. <laughs> All right, here we go. World two. We're going to leave the trackers down at the bottom here because most runners go for the spade card game right away, right in world two. That's a great time to get inventory stars and do what you got to do. Okay. 
Yo, looking good for Teeks, as long as neither runner takes damage here. Um, you're gonna see the runners probably start to clean up a little bit here. The, the, the World 1 jitters are over. Um, when competing in Mario 3, it's really stressful. The first, like, two... The first, like, two to five minutes are, like, really hard on you. Uh, but then once you get out of World 1, it starts to get a little bit better. Now, Teeks doesn't go for full clear. So he's gonna go for the 10. And he's just out of- he's out of there very fast. So Teeks has got a very nice time lead with that. Whereas for open, it's gonna start doing some clears here. And this is where a lot of people see a big difference in time. This is a solid 10... This is looking like a 13 second time difference. Big, big time difference right there. So let's take a look here. For open enters there. Okay, so Teeks is gonna grab... At a 522. And let's make sure for open up. Nobody falls in the moat, right? No moats. 522 grabbed it. So that's 10 seconds right here. 11, 12, 13, almost 14 seconds. And Teeks gets the semi early P speed in the fortress. Not, not anything to make much of a difference over. Early P speed in the fortress is early P speed, right? No matter how you dice it. Ooh, for open with the uh, turn back strategy. Little um, P meter slight manipulation, right? The turn back gives him more distance, more room to, to build his arrows. So that's pretty good. A little bit of a time loss in frames, but not that big of a deal since how early he got it. So it's still pretty good. And now we have the rest of World 2. We got the Red Rocket. And the Hammer Brothers, which Teeks is not going to be able to fight yet, but he does have to get this Red Rocket. And poor Red Rocket got outbeat by his brother Green Rocket. Green Rocket is now the dominant strategy in this level. And red over green, and green has won. And Teeks with the Red Rocket strategy gets his own point on the board. Oh, and Feropen almost missed P speed. Went for a scary jump right there. That was crazy. Very nice jump for Feropen. Very nice. See, Feropen also gets it. Wait, what happened here? Did I not mark it? Oh, I didn't mark it. That's weird. I didn't mark it for Teeks. I was like, why are they 6-6? Six, six? That doesn't make any sense. All right, Feropen's first Hammer Brother moves forward. Unfortunate for Feropen. This is exactly what Teeks needs, man. Teeks needs to get a backwards moving bro, man. He has to get backwards. He still doesn't have one chance. Oh, and Feropen with the post 2-3 early hammer. Don't, like, it's not a good idea to, to go for early hammer, right? This doesn't make any sense. Because then you'd have to do the extra levels. Okay, good. Yes, yes. Most runners know. But, you, hey, you just got to make sure. You, you never know exactly how it's going to pan out, right? You never know. Okay, nice tornado jump right there. Oh, Teeks is in an annoying situation. Gets a backwards, bro, though. Gets a backwards, bro. That's good. Is it really that annoying if he gets the point for it? Teeks might lose time here. He's got two options, and he's good. He's in the clear. That is exactly what he wanted to see. Broken going to go for the harder level, 2-4. Uh, it's not that much harder, and it is a little bit faster. It's just got a little bit of scare to it. A couple pits here. Uh, but he seems to know exactly what he wants to do, and he's out of there. Right on. So Teeks needs one more backwards, bro. And then he's kind of uh, caught up a little bit. Oh, no! Teeks needs to... Ooh, Teeks is going to have to watch out for coin ships here. He's going to have to watch out for coin ships. He's not instantly out of it, but he's close. Oh, he got backwards, bro! And just like that, Teeks ties it up. Froben does have the back pocket point with the leaf from World 1, but that's that's not until World 6. The RNG on Teeks' side is amazing, but can Teeks remember he's in coin ship range? So what he's going to have to do is he's going to have to watch his points and his coins while just actually his time in 3-1. He has to make sure he gets an odd time in 3-1 when he finishes the level. An odd time on his timer. Right? And that will change his 10th digit to an 8 and not be on a 3 and he won't get a coin ship. I hope! See, this is the type of thing, guys, that I was talking about in the finals. This is something, one little mistake here makes it seem like the whole thing's blown out of water, but it was just one mistake. And that's the coin ship. 
Luckily, if he gets a coin ship in World 3, he can still try and skip the Hammer Brothers because they don't even want to fight the Hammer Brothers in the first place. It'd just be an annoying loss of point. And then if the coin ship is in his way in this world. And look at the time difference. Teeks definitely got a good advantage of time here um, from that spade card game. You see the, the big difference here. So this is uh this is gonna be intense, man. Yeah, and Teeks with the two for two throne jump. He's there, man. He's there. But he better be paying attention to his coins, his coins and his score. Right? So this might change it. Okay, so he's gonna get eight in his tens digit. Right now it's a three, he's gonna get an eight, right? Because that's odd. So now Teeks needs to get an even time in 3-1. Or what he should do, I get, is just swim down and grab the coins in that little pocket. That's what he should do. That's what I'd do. They're way less scary than worrying about your timer. Right? You just get out of there. All right? Just get the coins. I don't know. Who does that, though? Nobody goes down there, right? I mean, that's not a thing. Who goes down there, right? So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's see. Does he get the frame jump, though? Oh, he's double checking. Oh, and he doesn't get it. I think he wanted to use a metronome there, but hopefully he's not more concerned about the metronome than his coin and scores. We're going to be able to tell if he just goes straight for the card. Please, please wait. Oh, and Feropen gets it where Teeks did not. That's another point for Feropen. The shared point that Teeks is not going to be able to capitalize on. He needs even time. And he got it. Very nice for Teeks. He does no, he no longer, he does not have to worry about coin ship anymore. Thank goodness, man. Hey, Teeks can get the RNG runaway, right? Teeks is going to get some coins here, so it's not going to have to worry. Still in the lead with time. He's down a little bit by some RNG stuff and some shared points. And Feropen is not close to runaway. Feropen's going to have to get runaway in a couple levels if he if he wants it. He's, he's two level completions, three actually, away from getting it. Um, so odds are he's probably not going to get it, but maybe... Very nice. Oh, and Teeks doesn't get the runaway. He was so close. And Feropen with the 66 coins, not in the coin ship range. Uh, Feropen's going to lose a little bit of time letting Teeks stay ahead of him. Very nice. Teeks going to get those coins. Yeah, he doesn't have no coin ships anymore. Oh, and Feropen is in a weird situation here with the early... I don't know what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to music box early or something. And we're going to have to see... Ah, Teeks not getting run away either. That's the one time. All right, here's an advantage that Teeks can get. If he gets door three and Feropen doesn't, that's not only a point, but a big change in time. Teeks goes for the door and he gets it. That's exactly what he wanted, man. Teeks has to get that door three, man. He's happy now. He might be nervous too. So Feropen, if he misses this, he also loses an additional like 15 seconds. It's huge. But Feropen has been on his game, so he might nail it here. He goes for it and misses it. Oh, man. And that is the advantage that Teeks needs. They are tied up in points. And Feropen has that extra leap. Come on, Feropen. You got to start cleaning up some of these mistakes. You got this. You're getting the points, Feropen. The game's giving it to you. Just some of these little mistakes. And it happens. Look, and Feropen has 77 coins. Another coin ship range. He's, he's close. And Teeks not having a music box. And Feropen is going to have to music box. This is an insane turn of levels. So Teeks has that extra music box where Feropen doesn't. Wow, man. This is, um... That extra music box helps in World 6 to, to prevent you from getting the inventory star. So Feropen is definitely making it incredibly hard for Teeks because Feropen is picking up all these little points here and there. Picking up points. Wow, what an insane World 6. Each runner getting their points, neither getting runaway. Feropen is about a solid level behind, though. So he's going to have to clean it back up. He's going to have to hope that Teeks gets some kind of bad RNG. Maybe Teeks misses the H jump here. Let's see. No, he's not going to miss the H jump. It's going to have to be something else. Don't worry, Feropen. I was hoping for it, too. Going to get the shot. Neither runner has lost her Fire Flower yet, either. That's another point for them. That's another point for them. All right, here we go. One runner out, and the other's got the last level. Come on, Feropen. Feropen, don't miss the H jump, man, because then that's another thing. 
That's a net. That's more time. Nice, very nice for Faropen. Let's go, dude. Um, another good thing for Faropen though is that he does have the extra stars and the extra fire flowers, where Teeks does not. Teeks does not have any of those extra things. All right, world three. Here we go. Looking kind of nice, and obviously no, not no lifelines. Clearly, clearly no lifelines. No problems with any runners talking about anything. Okay. All right. Yo, chat. How are you guys doing? You guys liking this? Yes, Teeks got the third throne jump. I know. Teeks with the three throne jumps, man. Nobody has lifelines. Nobody has lifelines. Very nice. No loss of fire flower for Teeks. And I can assume the same. And very nice for Froppen. Very nice for Froppen. Boom. No loss of Fire Flower. Here goes Teek starting off World 4. Here we go. First thing we need to look out for is bottom P-Speed route, which both runners have mastered already. That is, this is definitely something we're not going to have to worry about from both of our runners. Teek's not getting the P-Speed though. And he didn't realize it and he takes damage. This is exactly what for open needed. Oh, Teek's with the slowdown doesn't die. Oh man. What? I thought they had mastered it. I thought... And you know what? It was the early buildup, man. It was the early buildup, the non-shell strategy. This is a... Oh, man. What happened there? He's got the extra fire flower, though, so he's out of there. That's good. That's that's actually really good. Oh, Froppen's definitely going to get the P-Speed. And he does get it. He kind of almost missed it a little bit there. But that is a loss in point for Teeks. He knows. He knows that's a big loss. But... Teeks might not know that he's ahead in time. Or maybe he does because he's, he's familiar with how well everything's going. If he says to himself, if my opponent didn't get door three, that's a big time advantage. So, and he knows he didn't get runaway either. So there's options here. There, there's, there's good reason for Teeks to believe that he's in the lead for time. There's good reason. And there's great reason for Froppen to think that he's not in the lead for time. So a little mistake like that for Teeks is not something he should worry about. He should worry more on the fact that he's lost a point from that. Because he knows Froppen probably got it. <gasps> Froppen almost with the with the mini marathon there getting an extra point. Teeks could get one here. Ah, oh, Teeks does get it. This is just getting insane. The constant tit for tat on... This is ridiculous. Every time somebody gets a point, the other player gets the opposite point. I Have we gotten every single point so far split between... We have. I've never seen this before. We've got every single point except for Runaway split between them. That's so weird! How does Mario 3 constantly keep dishing out all this crap? All right, Froppen gonna have to use one of his extra stars, which is perfect, doesn't take damage like in practice. Very nice fortress. Damn, these runners are killing it. So, for, so Teeks has the extra music box, but Froppen's got the cloud or the leaf in his inventory. And Froppen can't get a marathon in this position. It's impossible. So Teeks has got that on lockdown. Teeks gonna be able to go back up, get his cloud. Yep, get his cloud. He's already used his music box. He does have an extra one JIC, but he might, I don't know what Teeks is gonna have to do here. He might have to bite the dust and just go for the cloud here. 
That's a movement of two. Wow, and he's in a great position. It's it, it it sucks to have to use your cloud or your music box early in world four, but hey man, when you gotta use it early, you gotta use it early. Very nice critiques. Everyone has developed their own little strategy in this level. I love it. And for open getting a movement of four, very unfortunate. Teeks going for all the duck jumps in that level. Very nice. For open finally getting his cloud, and let's see where the hammer brother is going to land. And that is a great spot for Feropen and Teeks! Ooh, Teeks is in an awkward position. All right, Feropen, come on, get those duck jumps. Very nice for Feropen, he's gonna go for the big jump. Yeah, see, he took something different than Teeks. Every runner's got their own little difference here. Very nice for Feropen. Feropen also gets all the duck jumps. 11, 11, technically 12 to 11, but we'll see. And Teeks gets unlucky, he's gonna have to go for Oh, and same with Feropen! Wow, that was a great opportunity for Feropen to catch up some time, but he's not going to now. He's he's not going to. And Teeks is out of there. Jeez, he's gonna get a hundo pattern with the Hammer Brother closer. I don't know what, what that's gonna help him with, but we'll see. Um, so let's go ahead and set it that Feropen is in, gonna get second place here. We're gonna preemptively decide that. Not like a decision, but you know what I mean. Because Teeks is in first by, by a large margin. The hand it is still about the hands, but we'll see. All right, moving on to World 5. Yo, what up, chat? That was a crazy one. Yeah, Teeks in his throne jumps, man. He got the... He's, he's on four throne jumps right now. He's on four throne jumps, which is crazy. Crazy insane. That just... This is insane, man. Like, being on this World 4 airship, they're both probably just, like, dying to know, like, how the race is going. Right? Don't worry, Beardy Locks. No one's no one's banning emulator. With the, yeah, the the discussion is definitely not banning emulator. If anything is gonna get banned, it's gonna be early hammer manipulation itself will get banned. Teeks had to go for the stomp kill because he didn't get any pattern that anyone would ever want to recognize. I mean, the situation he was in maybe have worked for warpless, but it ended up being a hundred percent pattern. So. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot he could do there. All right, Feropen is going to be able to go for the fire kill, which is actually going to save him a little bit of time here. Very nice. All right, back to the points. World 5, here we go! Oh, Teeks, don't scare me like that, man! Please don't use a warp whistle, guys. Very nice for Teeks. Uh, Teeks is going to grab the chest at 23... 2339. 2339, Teeks grabbed the chest. He got one movement of four right there. My goodness, Teeks is killing it with the RNG. The only one that hasn't worked so far, I feel like, has been... Uh, What, Runaway Bro, right? 24.02 for Feropen. So what's that time difference? All right, Teeks is going to go for the shaft. Teeks has got that strat on lockdown. 
Looks like he's gonna get it. Oh no, he didn't get the jump. I swear he was like two frames from not getting that. All right, come on, Feropen, you got this, man, you got this. That was two movements of four for Teeks. One more and he's got this. Very nice for Feropen. Easy in the pipe at 284. That's his game. Does the runoff, very nice. Let's go, Feropen. Let's go. For open with a movement of four as well. Oh, snap. He's not going to put him to sleep, right? You want to maximize your movements to four here. Did Teeks just get it right away? What? So if Teeks got it, then the Hammer Brother will 100% be right beside the castle. I'm pretty sure he just got three movements of four instantly. That's amazing. Heropen has one so far. Uh, let's see if he gets two here. No. Oh, Feropen's only got one. Come on, Feropen, you need to get some RNG luck here. Oh, whoops, I did it for Feropen, not Teeks. <gasps> Feropen takes damage there. Not a big deal in this situation. Feropen's got a lot of backups. As long as he doesn't die here. All right, Teeks. Man, I don't like this level, guys. I don't- 5-4 is like the hardest level. <sighs> I feel like he still almost missed that. Very nice for Teeks. It is Feropen's turn to get it though. Come on, Feropes. You got this. Small Mario might alter, like, how... Oh, come on. Okay, he's gonna use a mushroom here. Teeks has gotta go for early P-Speed. There's too much going on right now. Oh, and Teeks doesn't get the early P-Speed! Feropen is definitely gonna make it. He does make it very nice for Feropen. Oh my goodness, Teeks needed that. Ah, but Teeks doesn't have the extra star, right? Feropen is definitely gonna use a star here and he's gonna get that point. Feropen, only one movement of four. Feropen not using a star though. Oh my God, and he also doesn't get it. And Teeks has only got movements of four in this world. That's it. He's only gotten movements of four. Nothing else. All movements of four so far. This is insane. <laughs> what? You know, everyone jokes about getting all movements of four, but nobody actually gets all movements of four. We're open using that early fire flower. Teeks with another movement of four. And he runs away just to be an asshat. He runs away. Very nice for Feropen. Neither runner gonna get the early P-Speed points. Ah, Feropen still can't get that movement forward. Is Teeks gonna fight this Hammer Brother though? He doesn't have to, but he takes a big risk. He takes a big risk, right? What's he gonna do here? Is he taking the risk? Wow, he's going for it. Ooh. Big risk. Nice. Feropen is definitely catching up, man. Teeks has got way too many big movements with the Hammer Brothers. Teeks almost got all movements of four, world five. Very close. Wow, and another throne jump for Teeks. Jeez. That's five, man. It's getting scary. Oh, Feropen almost didn't get his thing. Oh no, Teeks' internet's doing that thing again. This is exactly what he doesn't need. Oh, we're just gonna have to keep refreshing the Teeks here. Oh, we got the flash. Let me play it. What is it? What is this?
Oh, man. At least we saw the throne jump. Come on, T. Why is internet always going at the worst moments in history? Like, all the time. Teek says local recording and he's back. His game is frozen, but his timer is not. Okay, okay. Okay, he's live, but it's just frozen here. Look, that's his timer at the top. What? Okay, Teeks got high bro as his first hammer brother. Teeks is letting me know. All right, for open also got high pattern as well. Whoa. Yeah, luckily we know we got the throne jump. All right, Froppen slowing down a little bit. I'll keep refreshing, but I, at this point, I don't think it's... Oh, oh! There we go! We're back! We're back! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, we back, baby! And we haven't missed any sheer points. We haven't missed anything yet, which is amazing. Okay! We are back in action. World 6. Both of our runners. Neither runner got Star Bros yet. Froppen has definitely caught up a little bit here. All right, Teeks is. Teeks got low, bro. He got the high and lows. Now for open needs low, bro. Oh, and Teeks with the bad RNG. He took the risk in world five and it didn't pay off, guys. Teeks now has to do the extra level in world seven. Oh no, for open is in a really rough spot here. He's got no time. Come on, move it, move it. You gotta figure it out. You gotta go for it. You might as well go for the fastest if that's the situation. He does get low, bro, though. He does get high and low, and he gets the cloud here. Oh my gosh. Does he get it, though? Does he get it? No! Just like that, and that is a no point disadvantage. Let's hope that Feropen can remember the leaf, though. Let's hope that Feropen can remember the leaf. Froppen does have that leaf, man. He's got the leaf. Don't forget the extra leaf, Froppen. Come on, man. Come on. Teeks, is he going to go for a manipulation? He's going for it. He cannot afford to not get wall jump first try. He cannot afford it. Teeks is taking a little bit too much time, but he does get it there. Very nice. He's going to go back. Gonna go back. He does use his leaf. Very nice. Oh, and Teeks doesn't get wall jump first try. Oh, no. Oh, Teeks is missing his A inputs. Very, very unlikely. Oh, and he's bleeding time because we. For open, it's just gonna go straight for the wall jump. Wow, this could tie it right back up almost. 
Holy crap. Zeke's losing a little bit of time. Feropen's right behind him. Feropen's gonna go for the manipulation. That means he's, oh, he's probably gonna get a first try here. This is weird. Weird. Oh, he's bumping on the overall map. He's nervous. He's nervous. Ah, oh, and that's it. Right there. Teek's going for the floor clip. Oh, I thought Teek's got it, man. <laughs> he got the door jump. He got the door jump crazy. Crazy, man. That is crazy. All right, Feropen is going to go for the clip, man. This would be big. Teeks is two throne jumps away, man. Two throne jumps away. Yeah, man. Oh, he almost had that. That was okay. Is Teeks going to get throne jump? Oh, no. If, if Teeks would have got the throne jump points, he would have been in the clear. He would have been in the clear, dude. Moving on to World 7. Oh, man. How you guys feeling after that World 6? What an intense World 6. What an insane World 6. Teeks does have to do an extra level in World... Um, in World 7, yes. For anyone wondering, also do not forget to give me a follow because we are going to enter back with the 100% world record attempts. This is the last race of the entire tournament, which means I can resume a normal streaming schedule. Most likely going to be afternoon, guys. Uh, so don't forget to give me a follow to make sure that you don't miss or keep up with the world record attempts. That's right, guys. I will be back. All that missed time is about one month, I'd say. But let's get back into it. Don't forget. All right, here we go. Teeks is going to go for the guaranteed subpixel 15 here. He's going to lose a little bit of time, but it is worth it. For open missing... St uh, not getting the star isn't a penalty. It's not a penalty. Yes, every point has been achieved in this tournament. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know about that one for open. Teak should be 100% right here. What happened there? He got the jump into the corner. Maybe he pressed two. Oh, third try though. Dude, no, no. Teeks has gotten all thrown jumps in one of his races. I think we have both audios going, yeah. We don't need both. All right, here we go, for open. Wait, did nobody complain about two audios going at the same time? Should we keep it? Nobody complained. For open getting the clip, very nice. You did three times? Yeah, it's okay, I can turn it off though. <laughs> oh, no pipe to pipe for Teeks? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, for open. Oh, let's get Teeks's, um... There we go. Sorry about that. It's a little low. No box, no pipe to pipe, though. So what is that going to mean for the entire tournament? Pipe to pipe for for open. That could mean good luck, doesn't it? No punishment in 7-3. Very scary level. Very good, 293, no punishment. Teeks also doesn't have a star. Interesting. Here we go, the double, the double point here.
is looking good! No box yet for Fur Open. He's going for a sub pixel manipulation. Looking pretty good. They're both in the same level. It's all coming down to the hands, guys. It's all about the hands. It's also all about who's going to secure the hammer suit and what, how is, oh man, it's insane. Oh, and Teeks doesn't get a first try. This is a great opportunity for open. Oh, for open misses the stomp. He's not going to get it. Oh, wow. When does something like that happen? When does something like that happen? Now, if Broken gets the first try clip, though, this is very important for him. It's very important for him. He's going to go back. Uh, it's like resetting the end level train. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Teek's got to watch out for that one. Froppin gets it first try. That's exactly what he needed to keep up. Teek's already messing up a little bit with his uh, hammer suit grabbing. Looking pretty good, though. Teeks has to do the extra level, though, and he's got no stars. So I, he's guaranteed he's going to do it slow with the hammer suit because he doesn't want to lose it. Doesn't want to lose it. Very nice. He's going to make sure he doesn't get P-Speed back. Duck jump in case the fire there. For anyone who doesn't know, fire gets deflected by ducking with the hammer suit. All right, for Open's really tricky strat here. Oh, so scary. But for Open is, oh, I was gonna say for Open's catching up a little bit of time here, but not any more from that. Hammer suit strategies from both of our runners. Insane situation. Teeks almost fell in the lava there. That was like almost the last pixel on the pipe. Very scary. Teeks with the good hammer throws. He's gonna go for the kill. Oh, it didn't get it, but very nice. He did get that one. All right, for Open. Here we go. Teeks has got to do the extra level. Oh, he doesn't have it. He remembers. Oh, crap. You got to go for it. No. Oh, he almost got hit, man. Wow. This is way too close, man. This is way too close. Look at this. Beep, beep, beep. It's all coming down to the hands now. That's it. Oh, and Teeks got... He missed one thrown jump on Teeks' side. He missed one thrown jump on Teeks' side. Moving down to World Day for these two runners. All right. Auto Scroller Land. What's going on, guys? No box for Feropen. Did Teeks get a bump? Teeks didn't get a bump, right? I thought I heard a bonk. I could have sworn I heard a bonk on Teeks' side at the end there. Somewhere. He bonked, or maybe for, yeah, Teeks bonked on the overworld map, didn't he? He, I really feel like he did. It was somewhere in the... That... I don't know. Oh yeah, this is all coming down to hands, baby. Well, we're double checking for Teeks. <laughs> Not Man of Steel. <laughs> This is insane, man. All down to the auto scrollers. All down to the hands, guys. We're working on the bonks. So, realistically, there's no point in getting a backup hammer suit. 
in uh, World 6, unless you strictly don't want a stressful Bowser fight, which fire's not normally stressful, but hammer's much easier than at Bowser. If you simply want an easy Bowser kill, you go for hammer suit. But if you go for the hammer suit in the Mushroom House in World 6, you're not saving any time. It's slower. Yeah, dude, it's all about the hands right here. Nice. All right, no bonks for Teeks then. Yeah, I did. Yeah. All right. This, this, this is so nerve wracking because the hands, man. I, I don't know why anyone hates the hands in it. I love the hands in this game. I've never had a problem with them. I don't think I've ever gotten mad at the hands before. Only Hammer Brothers and other things. The hands keep this game alive, dude. Insane. You wanna know what sucks? Is that this race went by too fast. That's what sucks. Whoa, for open with the full despawn strat. All right, Teeks did not get Wrangless. You can't get Wrangless with the hammer suit, but he can still move as if he got Wrangless. Uh, I think for open just got Wrangless. 46, 47, Teeks did touchdown on the boat. 46, 47, so one, two, Three, four. Four seconds difference. No, Hammer Brothers are the worst. see any no hands in tonight's races because we've had way too many no hands in this tournament way too many that's way too many all right this is where your nerves catch up because it's all about the hands this is when peak nerves happen You'd think that you can calm yourself down on the Navy, but it doesn't work. It doesn't. Hands control all. All right, here we go. Teeks is probably going to get the first hand. That's like his thing. Yep. All right, Feropen's going to get hand number one as well. Ooh, hand number two! What? Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh! <gasps> Two hands for peaks! Oh! And the hands, as always, the true decider! Teeks with the three hands. Gonna have to take the second versus first place. Wow. Now Teeks is allowed to say it's over. Now he's allowed to. 
All right, so to tie it up, make hands illegal. All right, here we go. For open, he's gonna go for the combo. That's the start. Seven hundred dollar hands. No, that's a thousand dollar hands. All right, for open got the first part of the combo points. For open actually almost died right there. That was like way too close to dying. Very nice. Teeks also gets the first part of the combo points. Whoa, whoops, 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 whoops. Conveyor here for Feropin. <sighs> Feropin gets Conveyor P-Speed as well. I just, I'm in awe, man. I, I can't. He got it, though. He got it. Open might get sub 54 though. I don't, can he? I don't think so. That would just make game, th game two is going to be so hard now. See something like that. And that is like, Oh man, that game one, man. go <gasps> the stairs no he slowed down no way did that cost did that cause it no i think he's still good right He's, he's still good. There it is. He's going to have to get the stack and points. What an insane race until the last, like, two minutes, man. Literally, like, the last four minutes. Teeks died in the exact way that Feropen almost died.
Guys, give a GG to both of our runners, man. Give a GG to both of our runners for that. That was an amazing job from both of our runners. Yeah, give a massive GG. It would be 21 to 22 right now if Teeks didn't die. Yo, Jay Runderwood, thank you for the five gift subs. Let's go. Keep the hype alive. Thank you very much, guys. What an insane race one, but we have a second race right after this. In like two seconds, we're going to let the runners take a quick little break. Twenty-two is the highest single race score this tournament, isn't it? Uh, I don't think so. Take out the death points, huh? Yo, no problem. Thank you very much, Misbehave. This season has been the best season. Oh, I'm glad you guys like season three. Glad you like season three. Glad you like season three. Uh, I do these two times a year. Yo, Soup Zippy with the 200 bits. Thank you very much. The bracket's not updated. If the bracket's not updated, it's because the runners haven't gone and posted uh, their scores yet. Yeah, so the iBooba and the Mondi race. What, what was the score for that? Do you guys remember? The iBooba and Mondi? I can go back and find it. But you guys probably have it right on hand here. What what was the Ibuba Monday scores? Why is this taking so long to load? What are you, what are you doing? You want to know why challenge? Because you fill your site with so much shitty advertising that your site doesn't even run well anymore. That's what you get for putting so many ads on your freaking site. Oh, Teeks got some weird crash going on here. 32 to 30. Wow, Mondi almost beat Booba. Is it really 30, 32 to 30? Are you guys sure? Can we get confirmation? Yeah, the runners should definitely be uh, filling these in. Filling in their own scores, but that's okay. If they don't, I can do it. Race two, 17 to 22. Thirty-five to fourteen. I Booba versus Mondi. Thirty-five to fourteen. Yeah. No, it's in both races. 30, 35 to fourteen. I think the thirty-two to thirty was against Teeks, wasn't it? Thirty-five to fourteen. 
And Teeks beat Booba with 32 to 30. Let's go, challenge. Oh, your sight is so bad. 36, 36. Oh, that's right. Season four tonight. Let's go. <laughs> Look at this. It, it can't even register. Like, what is wrong with this site? It's just so bad, man. Absolutely horrible. Let's try again. 35 to 14. And then instantly. So Teeks and Booba was 36 to 30. Look, every time I do something else, it's... Your site is garbage. We got to refresh here. Look, it can't even refresh on its own anymore. That's it. Can't even refresh. Look at it. Can't even load. <laughs> what a shitty site. That's it. I'm done. That's it. Update it later. I'm out of there. Nice website, guys. Good job. Yep. Load it up with ads so it's unrunnable. Good job. <laughs> yeah, probably. I bet that's what it is, Bun. I bet the runners went in to update their scores, but they sat there for 45 minutes like they're waiting for a train. All right. Before we start this next race, what, what do we need to happen here, guys? What do we need to happen? Uh, Teeks is going to have to capitalize on a few RNG points where Feropen doesn't and gain at least a three-point lead at the start. Teeks is five points behind for a tie. He's five points behind for a tie. He's got to win on time for sure. Feropen needs some RNG points just to stay ahead. So he's kind of like good a little bit. Feropen taking a death would definitely help. Mortal Cobra, is that another 10 that I missed there? Thank you. Thank you very much for the support, man. We're going to make the 1,000 before the end. You guys are going to pay. You guys are going to pay for the winner. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, I don't know, man. Five points after game one is a lot. And I mean, that all that had to do with was one silly death. That was it. One death. Since the race is so like this, I, I mean, I I don't. Yo, Tombo White, thank you very much for the five gift subs as well, man. Let's go. Let's go for the points. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. We're going to we're going to have to get these guys to start. Oh, OK. That was, Teeks, he made the worst mistake you could possibly make, right? He made the worst mistake you could possibly make. It's just absolutely insane. Uh, first, second, and third get money. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get this race on the go. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm nervous. I'm nervous for both of them because Feropen, 
Thropen being in the lead can't make a mistake, so every mistake he makes is gonna bug him. Right? You have to imagine every mistake that Faropen makes is going to bug him. Okay, here we go. All right, you guys ready? I'm asking them for the dot readies. All right, we got dot ready from our runners. All right, here we go. All right, three, two, one, go. All right, who's gonna start first? Who's gonna start first? Teex is gonna start first, okay. We're open second. All right, so now that we're after the first race and we see that Teex is behind by five, we're gonna be put in a situation here um, where we're not gonna be able to go, like, I, man, there's gonna be points where I'm gonna be focusing so much on the run. Looks like both runners are doing so good so far. Good so far. It's just way too intense. It's way too intense. All right, early P-Speed from Teeks. Early P-Speed from Feropen, looking good. Just like that. We already know that Teeks is gonna have the advantage in time, mainly because of the spade card game. Right? The spade card game, Teeks does not full clear. Very nice. Very nice. And for open, catching up a little bit of time there. Teeks is gonna grab it at 112 pretty much. Yeah, for open's behind just by a little bit, a couple frames. Right, Teeks is gonna enter at 121 and, oh, Feropen's gotta do this. Ooh, is he gonna go for top? No, no top. All right, Teeks needs to get every point he can possibly get his hands on. That's one of them! That is one of the points that Teeks needs to get his hands on. That right there, maybe a little stress relief from Teeks there. Feropen, not gonna be able to keep his piece speed. Come on, Feropen, you got this. Ah, Feropen gets it too! Feropen, get, he, Feropen got the last pixel, man. The ceiling pushed him down a little bit. Ah, oh, just when you think you get an edge, man. Just when you think you get an edge. All right, here we go. Who's gonna get the leaf? Oh, mushroom, that's no good. And for open. Oh, for open got the mushroom too. If Teeks would have got it, that would have been the extra points there. Very nice. Oh, Teeks with the throne jump. He needs to get every single throne jump. No more dicking around, Teeks. But for open, man, for open, don't make any mistakes, man. Don't let up for open. Don't. You can walk away with a thousand bucks. Thousand bucks for open. Could be yours, man. You just gotta not let up. No mistakes. And smack Yolas! Yeah, for opens behind by about point two or three. 
Right there, tied. I right, look pretty good. Neither runners. Nothing. Nothing weird. All right, here we go. Oh, Teeks, he's still out of there, man. All right, so Teeks has got the first. There we go. Teeks almost fell in the moat, man. Clean it up. Oh, for open almost took damage there. Wow. That was close, man. Wow. Insane right there. Very nice from, from for open, man. Uh, he really, he really cleaned up that mistake right there. Really cleaned it up. Nice Teeks with the crazy early P speed here. No. Messing around. Very nice from both of our runners coming through the fortress. Not a whole lot going on right now. Both both of them just got to get through here. Essentially without taking any damage. They just got to not worry about taking any damage. And it's possible in this spike room. Run too early, jump too late, jump too early. Lots of, lots of damage can be taken there. They both did it pretty good. And here comes Red Rocket. And we're gonna slowly start to see how this is gonna turn out uh, for our runners here because one point not gained is just, you. as the game goes, you're running out of points. Very nice for Teeks, gonna get that Red Rocket. Oh no, Teeks took the damage! He needs every point he can get, but that is just, that is a loss in points. Okay, okay. So, pretty much like I was saying, pretty much like I was saying is that, if, if, like we hope, you know, in, in the side of Teeks, you hope that Feropa takes damage here, but even if Feropa does take damage, that's still not a point, right? And then they're still even, so that's that's rough, that's scary. And Teeks not getting uh, backwards moving bro, so that's gonna be a no-go for him. He's gonna take bottom route, which is exactly where he needs to go. Very nice, very nice. Wait, I, I looked away for a second. Did Feropen get backwards or forwards there? Oh, Feropen didn't get both forwards. That is good. That is good for Teeks. Not for Feropen, man. Feropen is not in the clear yet. Feropen is not in the clear yet. It's not in the clear yet. It's getting there, though. Teeks got double forward moving bros. 
Double four, not gonna cut it. What? Oh, throne jump number two. We're at the start. We're at the start of something amazing. Both runners with the same thing, but unfortunately, Teeks has already taken damage. Got his fire flower back. How are you guys doing at home right now? How are you guys doing? It's anyone's game right now. We're technically, he's four, Teeks is four points away from a tie. Uh, Teeks is not in coin ship range, no. He's good. He's good. He's got the lead in time, though. He did last time, but he got hands. <sighs> Both runners having a little bit of a slip up there. It, it's, uh... <laughs> this is interesting. This is very, very interesting. Here we go. Frame jump versus not frame jump. This is... Oh, and he didn't get it. I think he tries to the metronome and Froppen didn't get it either. Teeks, these are points. These are free points, but they're not, right? It's not free. It's still very tough. Nothing's free in this game, but that was the... Whoop. All right, here we go. Oh, Teeks in runaway range and Feropen also? No, not quite. Very nice from both of our runners. Very, very nice. Here we go. Teeks could just instantly get runaway right here. You could just instantly get it. Let's see what happens. Nope, still no runaway, man. That's close. For open, also kind of far from runaway as well. Both runners in the same level, having a good time. Wow, they are neck and neck. This just got even closer. You kind of don't want Runaway because then he sacrifices the time, but it's right there. He's going to have to use a music box. Feropen is also right there as well. It's going to come down to door, th door four. Oh, Teeks doesn't get it. And neither does Feropen. No, man. These are two more points that he can have. Oh, man. It's just not collecting the points. A classic case of not being able to collect these points that are here. Door 4 ain't, ain't easy though, guys. It's not easy. Neither runner gets the runaway, bro. Teeks is going for the hammer. This, um, this, we have, didn't, didn't we already prove that this route is kind of not, this route doesn't work, um, in terms of time, right? Doesn't it? Oh, for open's thinking too. Oh my God, they are both going for it. Oh, 
Antiques doesn't get it. No way. No way. And neither does Fur Open. They both go for the cosmic play and they get out cosmic. They get out cosmic. Oh no, this is how Teeks would have got the sub 54, whereas Feropen wouldn't get the sub 54 now. Oh my goodness. It, in this case, if Teeks just did what he normally did, oh, it's one of those like, if you had just known. Insane. This is why I love the points tournament. It's crazy how both runners did the same thing. This is a very common route. The, the, the route that they're choosing here is not uncommon. What they tried to do there is they tried to get Runaway Bro. That's what they were trying to do. So they fought the Hammer Brother with the Hammer to try and get uh, the Runaway. They had one last chance for it. They tried for it, but they didn't get it. So it's not going to count, unfortunately. There's just so many points right now that... Right? If Teek's got the frame jump and door four and run away... Right here, look at that. 27 versus 28 is what it'd be right now. Isn't that crazy? He had the opportunity for these. For open didn't get them. But I mean, same goes for For Open, right? For Open could have got those too. Still though, this is, oh, another throne jump for Teeks. This is insane, man, this is insane. Well, I don't necessarily think that taking the path for level, for three, seven and getting the um, cloud, that's not necessarily like, oh, you can't get sub 54, right? You can still get it. Unfortunately, Teeks lost his Fire Flower, right? So, um, Feropen is going to get the no-loss Fire Flower point, maybe. I'm gonna mark it because I am pretty confident he'll be okay. I've seen Zone lose his Fire Flower on the airship before, so it's not uncommon. There we go, very nice. But Teeks, however, took damage, unfortunately. So, 7-7. Seven, seven. All right, here we go. World four, last time Teeks did not get a point in this. Is he gonna resort back to shell strats? I don't know. I don't think so. There we go. Very nice. Bottom piece speed for both runners, eight, eight. All right, let's see if they can remember that they have their hammer, they don't have to do the fortress. Both runners getting the same hammer brother movement in World 4, they are tied up in points for game two. If Teeks can make a mistake that could cause them to go behind by four points, then I don't see why Feropen couldn't. We're only halfway through race two right now, and they are tied with Teeks in the lead right now in time. Teeks not with the hammer brother movement that he wants to see.
Fropen with a very, very good Hammer Brother movement. Very good. He's just probably not going to want to do the extra... Uh... Fropen can no longer get a marathon here. The Teeks definitely can, though. Teeks with the marathon right there. That's a little baby marathon. Yeah, he's going to want a music box. And he's going to want a hammer. That's right. Yep, Fropen has to use his early music box as well. And they're both in the same level. Very nice for Teeks. And looking really good for Fropen too, man. Fropen is in this to win this, guys. He's he's done not winning the points tournaments. He's got to get number one. Right, he's going for all the duck jumps. Looking pretty good securing them all. And Feropen looks like he's in a good position where Teeks is gonna have to go back. He's gonna have to go back. Let's make sure Feropen gets all of his duck jumps as well. Pretty good for Feropen. Both runners getting the duck jumps. Teeks has got to fight the Hammer Brother, and just like that, Feropen takes the lead! Just like that, Feropen takes the lead! Alright, World 4 Airship! There's going to be a lot of back and forth here, guys. Four guys, our favorite airship. Our favorite. So, how's everyone doing today? Oh, did Teeks get thrown jump? Oh, did Teeks get thronies? Teeks did get thrown jump. He's at four. Moving on to world five. Throne jump is a two frame jump. All seven is worth two points. I'm gonna be first, going for the stomp kill. Stompy. There we go, very nice. Kinda almost goes through the boss a little bit. Teeks is gonna be able to go for fire kill, and just like that, Teeks is gonna be able to catch up. Oh! I don't think he would have had enough time, though, to get the off screen one grab. I don't think so. All 
All right, here we go. World five. This is where it gets intense. World five's a big world, man. Big boys here. Do 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 do. All right, here we go. Rubble's gonna be first. Use the P wing. Tease is also gonna use the P wing. Very nice. <gasps> Froppa got stuck. Oh, he's gonna get the fly up. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> so close, dude. No movement of four. No movement of four fatigues either. Beep beep bappa beep boop. Oh, T's almost missed the pipe. Oh, for open just made it. Wow, dude, that was way too close, but both runners got it. That's good. For open almost missed it. For open with a movement of three. Deeks with a movement of four. Oh man, I'm looking at like every platform, every jump. Oh man, this is insane. Movement of one. Movement of two for Teeks. They are so close to each other right now. They are way too close to each other right now. That's okay, that's okay. Nice. No coin ship range. Oh no, Teeks. I think that's okay though. They both got it. Yep, they both got it. Wow, very scary. All right, here comes the shared points. Teeks two movements of four. Froppen gets P speed. So does Teeks. Wow. Neither runner is gonna get the point there. That's good. Ropa got the point, and then Teeks is like, no, no, you don't. I do. Teeks with another movement of four. There they are. It's okay, Teeks wants to fight him. Of 
Looking pretty good for our runners, man. Looking pretty good. I know, I'm sorry I'm not talking as much, but like I'm glued to this. I'm just like focusing on every Teeks with another throne jump. I'm just focusing on their every move, right? Oh, how are you guys doing? Okay, so as long as they don't lose their Fire Flower, should be okay. Normally, people don't on the airship, so should be okay. Wow, gonna go for a Fire Kill. Poof. Oh, they are so close to each other. Look at this. Here we go, world six, guys. World six. Top, top low. Froppin is going to get top pattern. Top pattern to start. Very nice. Teeks is going to get top pattern as well. Both tops. Very nice. Teeks got some mini marathon that kind of sucks. Cannot afford the time loss here. Yeah, he's gonna take it slow there. Not exactly what he wanted, but there's not much he can do about it. Um, had had a weird start up there. Teeks is bleeding just a little bit of time here. Oh, whoa! All over the place right now, Teeks. But that's okay. It happens. Yeah, all right, he's back. He's back under control. No scares. No scares for open coming up. Doesn't get the early P speed. Teeks with another marathon. Ooh, he could inadvertently get a bad spot, but he could be in a good position here because he does have the extra music box. Teeks not getting early P speed as well. And he has that extra music box, so that's good. Could be in a safe position here. Feropen is in a position where he can't do anything about it if they stay where they are. Oh no! Teeks! With the fanfare! That is a loss in points! Feropen makes a time mistake too! A great opportunity to catch up! And Feropen is not going to be getting Starbro. He does get top pattern as well, though. That ain't gonna help him. That's no point. Antiques is okay so far. Antiques also gets high pattern. Wow. No Starbro for me, the runner, but that's it in World 6 for them so far. Oh, Teeks gotta use his extra music box. Oh, he's good. All right. Uh, 
Uh, Feropen is just doing an incredible job right now. Um, he's doing really, really well. Both races. Nobody's got a leaf for this level. Just gets that early P-Speed on Feropen's side. Very nice. Feropen gonna go for the manipulation! Here we go! <gasps> he wall rubbed! Oh, and it took his sub pixel away! He wall rubbed! If Teeks didn't do manipulation, he'd catch up right here. Alright, Teeks needs this first try. Oh, and he gets it! Man, just think about all the wasted points on Teeks' side. No! Right? It's just, it's sad. It's so sad that there's just so much. He lost Fire Flower. He got a fanfare. Alright, here we go. A short hop, not gonna help. Not gonna help. <laughs> I hope Teeks wasn't relying on his Ren uh, to win. Like, all right, Teeks. Teeks has got to get this throne jump. Here we go. Ah, oh, he missed it! Both of them are World 6 Throne Jumps. Oh, man. It happens, though. It happens. You hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it. Second place guy still gets 300 bucks. Third place gets 200, second gets 300, first gets a thousand. Ooh. Thousand bucks. The winner of the season three tournament has officially made more money directly from Mario 3 than me. In terms of competitions. So congratulations. No lost fire flower, no fanfare. Um, he could have got his door, th his door four. But you got to get your SMB three game on then. All right, here we go. Seven one. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I can I compete in this. I lost first round. That's right. All right, here we go. If Feropen misses seven one, it's a great chance for Teeks to come in and clean up first try seven one. Let's see what happens. No, nope, not gonna play out like that. Not gonna play out like that at all. Very nice first try for Feropen. Oh, and Teeks with the early hop. Three, four, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, oof, the time. Because we got to keep this in the hands range, right? Seven, one, what's going on? Come on! Broken with a very nice 7 2. Gonna use the standard uh, shoot him up damage boost.
He's literally getting like an insanely bad RNG here. Oh my god, that level was horrible. He got the good jump multiple times, but it's just... Man, Mario 3, guys. Okay, what can I say? No punishment for Feropen, no box from either runner. All right, now Teek's gonna use the star. Oh, he's gonna use the P-Wing. Very nice for Teeks. Gets through with the P-Wing, saves the star. So he's gonna be able to go a little bit faster later on and Feropen looks like he's going to get... The 83, he didn't get 83 last time. He does get the 83. All right, he's gonna go back, jump back out. So I'm wondering, guys, this is my question. Oh, and he gets it first try, very nice. If the runners go back to the pipe anyways, why would they just set up their sub pixel in the pipe section instead of in the battle? Well, I guess because in the battle, it locks it in, right? Kind of like the 100% the guaranteed wand grab. All right, Teeks. Gotta get these two points. Tie it up. It looks like Teeks is good. Man, for open makes that jump way too often. It's crazy. Nice, Teeks with the sub pixel manipulation gets the 83, very nice. He's got to get this first try. Oh, he must. I think he jumped like a frame too late. The and the clips are Teeks' his worst enemy this race. Ah, he's in there. Very nice. Nice, Teeks now has the star, which is very good. And for opens out of there. It looks like... It looks like hands can't save this. Right, I don't think so. What do you guys think? No box for for open. Very nice world seven for for open. Teeks lost his hammer suit right at the end there. Uh, for open, so from from what's been going down, for open definitely, definitely has really showed himself as um, a very very good. SMB3 runner. Um, he, I have not raced against him. I've never, he's never been in a GDQ. I've never seen him in the weekly races. Um, so, um, his presence in the Mario 3 community is somewhat new to me. I've heard of him. Um, but again, this is like, this seems like this is the first thing he's done for Mario 3 when it comes to, um, uh, competition wise, I guess. And uh, going up against Teeks is no easy thing. I raced Teeks in Warpless um, a couple weeks ago, and I only beat Teeks by like three seconds or something, right? Or it was like 10 or 20 seconds because of the hands. Oh, snap! An assault with the 10 gift subs. Thank you very much for the support and the support of the tournament. That's right, man. Thank you very much, guys. Super appreciate that. And Teeks, six out of seven throne jumps again, man. That's just... That's just his luck.
Oh, dang it. We are in auto-scroller land, though, so it's time for me and chat to connect. What's going on, chat? How you doing? What did that What did that bring us to, guys? <gasps> 973. Damn, we're close. Mitch versus Furo. Well, I feel like Furo Open would beat me in a points tournament match. Sure, I've definitely not practiced them. I don't even know spade card games. That's, I like not being involved in the points tournament, guys. I, I like letting other people strategize and figure out their own routes and let the community grow from it. I let them do their own thing. Like, I don't have to be a part of everything Mario 3 related, you know? I mean, almost everything I have to be, of course. My baby, but. Vibe check, baby. What's going on, guys? What's your vibe? How you guys feeling today? How's, how's the vibe of my homies today? Don't forget to give me a follow, guys. 100% world record attempts are coming back to my stream. We're coming back with a consistent stream. It's probably going to do afternoon. We're probably going to do afternoon. So I'm, so um, everyone has an opportunity and a chance to watch. It's very nice. Um, so very excited. Uh, very excited to come back. It's been, uh, it's been a rough month. Been trying to schedule streams and the points tournament all together. So, uh, it's been very stressful. It's been tough. They gave you a free book? Nice. Free books, baby. I missed the announcement. When did Season 3 begin? At the beginning of the month. Last month. We still do pretty good for keeping a tournament within one month. Right? One month is very good. And don't forget, all of you guys have been great. Teeks and Feropen, everyone who participated in the tournament. And don't forget, guys, if you want to be a part of the points tournament, all you have to do is get sub one hour in Warpless, guys. Sub one hour Warpless to qualify, and you can sign up. Yo, and Assault, thank you very much for the 10 months. Welcome back. Well, yeah, sub one hour in Warpless is pretty tough if you're new. The season four will most likely be in November. Most likely in November, guys. Your 57 PB is good enough? Of course it is. The highest PB we had in the tournament this season was a 58 minute time. A 58 minute time and they made it to quarterfinals. No, that's more like a bingo points tournament, right? Second place prize bunny is $300. I figured I'd put down an. I, I invested 1500 bucks into the season three. So that's pretty good. Heck yeah. That's a small amount of money to invest in like my community, you know? Like I could. I could probably try and do more. I'd be struggling a bit, but jeez. Wrangless, baby. Yeah, I saw TT at Wrangless. All right, for open going for the hands. Get no hands just to top it off, man. Watch. No hands just to top it off. Oh. Let's do community money raise for season four. There you go, two hands for for open.
All right, this is where Teeks is gonna get no hands. This is where Teeks is gonna get no hands. If we raise $10,000 for a community funded Mario 3, I would not want a piece of that $10,000. That's not my money. Who, who do you, you think I'm a monster or something? That's the community's money. That'd be great. I hope Teeks doesn't get triple hands. There we go. That's what he needed in race one, man. That's what Teeks needed in race one. Yeah, a, 10, a 10k prize pool, I'd be asking somebody else to make the points. Mitch Mushroom Power, we're not the same person. Yo, for open doing a great job in 8-1 as Teeks finishes up the last auto-scroller in auto-scroller land. There's just so much garbage from World 7 Airship until now. Like, the hands, and then it, it, it's not until 8-1 where it gets exciting again. All right, here we go. Robin almost died in this level last time. He could die this time. You never know. Nope, looking good, though. He's gonna get the combo. Atik's actually had an unfortunate death in 8-2. Conveyor piece speed for Feropen. Teeks doing a great job in 8 1. Oh, almost took damage. Te Teeks is going to get the combo point, though. Very nice. Wow, that sun was gunning for him. If Teeks gets Conveyor Peace Speed here, then they're tied. God, that's a you hate to see a moment, right? A tie like this. Is... And he does. Oh, man, that hurts. That hurts. Finals is just two races. Great finals, though, guys. You, there's lots of good that we can take from this. What a fantastic finals. And just like, now that I think back, it's just so insane how this turned out. I mean, at least it wasn't right at the start kind of thing. And um, Teeks second place again, I think. I think this is Teeks' second season at second place. He's just waiting for the prize pool to be like 2,000 bucks. And then he'll take the win. Two months rent right there, baby. Let's go. All right, for open, gonna finish her up here. Yeah, for open, definitely, he definitely took the points tournament seriously, and I think everyone should, man. He, that's a lot of money. That's not a small amount of money, man. And uh, he obviously practiced all the pr points thoroughly. Everyone did amazing, though. And there it is. $1,000 Bowser kill right there for Feropen. Bam! Feropen is going to take it. 
with 17 points in game two. Teeks also with 17 points in game two. Damn, oh damn, that is insane right there. Ropen with the finish. Teeks with the second place though. Give a big GG out there for Teeks and for Open and everyone else who's been in the tournament, guys. This uh, season three has been a massive success. Uh, a lot of people coming around to watch, a lot of people supporting, a lot of people having a good time. Really nothing negative to say about this. And uh, a brand, like, nobody really knows much about For Open. So a new, a new person, right? A, a new face kind of thing. We don't, hopefully we see more from For Open in the future. And hopefully we can get Teeks to be a number one winner in a future season. He's so close. But he still gets to walk away with $300 cash prize. He still won something, right? He still won something. So every runner has, has done a fantastic job. Damn. And just like that, guys, Feropen is the winner of the points tournament. Insane. GG. Oh man, what an insane. Thank you guys for supporting me during this tournament. It's been very hard for me to do my consistent streams. Um, so I I extremely appreciate your guys' patience. I really do thank you guys so much for the support and the patience, the financial support and the viewing support during the tournaments. I've just been insane for my inconsistent streams. So thank you guys so freaking much, man. Without you guys, I'd be a pile of garbage in the wind. So thanks a lot, guys. And let me tell you guys, it's incredibly stressful doing these races. Like as the runners, not me. It's not stressful for me. It's stressful for them. So that's another GG that we can give these runners. All right, it's for open streaming. Yeah, thank you guys so much, but we're gonna give we're gonna give, we're gonna get Feropen the raid if he's still live. Uh, Feropen speaks Japanese only, so it would be a very one-sided uh, interview. So we're gonna go ahead, I, I've got no speech. I got no speech, I got, I got no nothing. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go give the Feropen a raid here. The winner, we gotta give the winner a raid. Wait, did that work? Oh, I already have a raid in progress. Well, where's the option to send the raid? I don't see it. It says canceled? Uh, yeah, but I went to raid and then it said raid in progress. You already have a raid in progress. Well, eventually I'm gonna cut out and we're gonna raid. So whenever that is, we're just gonna sit here and wait for the raid and thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget, the point, the 100% uh, the is coming back, guys. I just don't know when the raid is gonna happen. It's, it's gonna happen at some point. Is it raiding? Is it gonna go? Sometimes it takes like two or three minutes. And we don't know. We don't know when or where. Yo, thank you very much, one for the money. Why does it have to be dumb like this? Like, like obviously at the very end here, trying to give a good raid and we can't now. Like, it's so dumb, dude. You're so dumb, Twitch, sometimes. Where's the raid? 
I already have a raid in progress, it says. So, like, I can't raid now. Wh where do you... Something went wrong. All right, everyone go to for open. Fuck off, Twitch. You suck. You're so bad, Twitch. You're so bad. Everyone go to for open and give them some heck praise, guys. And we're going to host this channel, too. All right, see you guys soon.